What about you, Jelly? Do you have a favorite character or? Uh... I had a favorite character. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Was Barb uh, DMing no, and she no, killed you? I never know. Oh. It was a combination of Dave and Steve DMing over the playtest roles, but uh, I had a dwarf from no, Straight this, Fighter. This awesome. oh, he was a great. He was awesome. He he, he broke. He wasn't a, that awesome. Oh, his first At couple, first level, he was great. First session, he broke a ogre's hip and like cut off his head and took it back to this keep and was bragging right. You know. That was your character. Yeah, it was yeah. my character. And then uh, he had incredible luck. Time went on. I was doing player. really great. He was kicking ass and uh, he had a battle axe with the old rules, which was much better with the 4D4. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie helped us figure out that the battle axe was broken. <laughs> so, and he was a little tank, you know, he's a lot of fun to play. And then um, for some reason I had a couple of bad sessions where I was burning off my honor. Gary Khan won. Was, yeah, was the beginning of the end. I was going to die so I burned my honor. I purged it. Gary Khan's tough. And anyway, the way the rules work, <laughs> if, your honor gets, if your honor gets low <laughs> enough, the character every time. if your honor gets low enough, it starts <laughs> sucking down the honor of the people you hang out with. So it took a while for the other uh, party members to realize what was happening to their honor. So they didn't want me around anymore. They're like, hey, you're out of the party. Oh and my. Like, no, I'm not. So I kept hanging out with them. And, uh, Came down to this point where another player character just, you're not coming with this, and I guess I am. And he beat me up on the uh, <laughs> bridge outside the <laughs> And then Jolly's character was immortalized in one of our published books right. as the outcast yeah. dwarf. So I actually got. That's Jolly's character. I got ejected from the party and had to live outside the keep because they wouldn't hang out with me anymore. So. so I tried to show him mercy and tend to his wounds, and then I got in trouble too. <laughs> my, uh, my defense, I tried to bring his honor. I was giving away bread to the poor, and I was it's, things kept happening. I had to keep purging my honor again, so it never, <laughs> never got better. But he was a good character. I liked him. What about you, Brian? Your favorite character, or one of your favorite characters? And oh well, I'm enjoying the guys I'm currently playing right now. I've got a uh, couple of uh, tough fighter and a, a barbarian we played tonight. But looking back, uh, Dave was running. Uh, pretty old campaign in the Kingdoms of Calamar where we started at zero level and uh, I had a fighter thief, a dwarf, and uh, who was tricked by a guy with three intelligence. Yeah, that was the same guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's alright. <laughs> hey, every character has highs and lows. <laughs> That's right. It's Proud amazing. moments. Um, it, it was just the, the great thing about that character was he built himself up. What did we get up to, like, ninth level or something like something that? Something like that, yeah. From And he was multi-classed um, from zero level. And so it was just really fun to kind of pick yourself up by your bootstraps and make do with what you have and scratch and claw your way to the top. Very cool. And incidentally, we're working the zero level rules that you'll see in the Game Master's Guide for Hackmaster originated in that game from 20 years ago 1988 yeah we're whatever. continuing to play test those today that's cool very cool so what about you steve a favorite character you'd like to share what made him special or her uh, <laughs> have you ever played a female no. usually he plays female characters <laughs> <laughs> i take that as a no, no. only on thursday nights with the boa <laughs> Let him answer the question. Poor Steve. Uh, yeah, it's. He had a great fighter once called Joe Average. <laughs> yeah, that was, <laughs> that was in college. Yeah. Yes. His stats were basically like all ten all or ten, twelve, all ten, three all, they're all average. Yeah. He was just, just mediocre. And we would play, and it would all be the luck of the dice, where I would just end up slaughtering. I mean, I, I would always win. And people would try to stop me or confront me. We had other people in dorm that had way better characters, and I would always outdo them. That guy got through on guts and duct tape. So. <laughs> And there was one guy, he was playing a fighter that was way better on paper, and he ended up changing his name to Joe Below Average. Because <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't as good. That was Mark Mueller, he's a... Rocket scientist. Rocket scientist. Yeah. And shareholder in our company. Yeah, that's right. Really? Awesome. Oh, yeah. Well, um, I should uh, bring this to a close, but do you uh, folks have anything you'd like to add? Um, website, uh, new products that you're uh, uh, proud to uh, uh, be coming out with? Uh, 
You want to take that one, Dave? Yeah, our website is kenzerco.com, K-E-N-Z-E-R-C-O.com. Um, right now, a uh, product that we're, we're, on the, we're coming out with, you can, you can purchase a PDF right now and actually help with the design of the, and proofreading of the product is the Hackmaster Game Master's Guide. Uh, and the hard copy will be shipping in um, Q2 next year. So uh, that one we're pretty excited about. We've got all sorts of new PDFs and products that have been coming out. And we're pretty excited about um, the project that Ken mentioned already. So that'll be, uh, that'll be great. And of course we come out with KODT on a monthly basis. So um, you should definitely check out the, the comic book. It's so, also as a gaming magazine. I, I don't think we were really too clear yeah. on that. But. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've got to ask now. Uh, you said uh, Hackmaster Game Master's Guide is what you're currently working on? Correct. And that is 5th edition? Yeah, we don't call it that anymore. We just call it Hackmaster. Okay. But, yeah. Which would uh, be your second edition? This would, for, for us, yeah. Our first, the first edition of Hackmaster we made was in 2001. Uh, I think when we finally published it, and um, you know that that was called Hackmaster Fourth Edition, and then in two thousand nine, we made Hackmaster Basic, which was uh, the first book of our new edition. So, and we have Hackmaster Basic Plus. There's a Player's Handbook. There's the Hacklopedia Beast, which is our monster book. It has a totally bitchin' cover, which I don't, I don't know where that is in here, but um, we'll <laughs> show you one. And then the Game Master's Guide will be coming out soon. It's green. <laughs> Green. Green. Right there, you got it. This one? Yeah. No, green. the big no, heavy big one green. right next to it. There you go. Oh. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> you gotta kill it. It only weighs six pounds. Full color book. I love that book. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, Two hundred or three hundred eighty-four pages. I don't know if you can tell, but it's made of actual dragon hide. Very cool. Yeah, you can get you can get uh, almost eight thousand books out of one dragon. That was so, such a great adventure. Yeah, when we went and killed that dragon. Yeah, yeah, I liked the way you you snuck in the back and opened the gate for everyone. That yeah, was awesome. Thanks. It was well done. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, sadly, we lost two shareholders and six interns in that foray, but uh, it was worth it. They knew the risks. Yeah, they knew. <laughs> well, the interns didn't, but the shareholders did. <laughs> But that's what interns are for. That's right. So how does one become an intern with uh, Kenzer & Co? First of all, you have to live locally in the Chicagoland area. And you need, to, you need to have your own transportation. Unless you get a waiver from Steve. And you, and you need to have a, you know, you need to be physically fit and have a, you know, a, a good back. You have to be able to lift boxes. So you have to be able to lift boxes and move product. <laughs> Because our books all weigh, how much does that book weigh? Like, uh, it's like six pounds or four pounds. Four pounds. Four pounds. Yeah. So toting barges and lifting bales is part of the work. Yeah, packing packing orders. Everyone does it. I do it. We all do it. So very cool. And uh, uh, how? Uh, we also might let you write something if you're done with your pack. Very cool. Okay. So if they want to come there on their own dime. It could be somebody who wasn't from out of town. Well, I don't know how you'd come in work on a regular basis <laughs> if you're from out of town. I mean, if you wanted to move here. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. We, we actually have had people do that for, like, uh, class credit where mm -hmm. they came and interned right. with our company. And we've had people move for full-time positions, of course, but, you know, we wouldn't condone that. I mean, you just if you're going to be an intern, you should probably live locally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Uh, so how many uh, employees does Kenzer & Co. have? Uh, right now we have uh, four employees. So. And there are five of you here. Yeah, we don't all work. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't work full I time. Don't, I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> so you just do the work. Just Jolly and Steve <laughs> the, do the lion's share. Very cool. Mostly Steve. Jolly mostly watches westerns. <laughs> and again, the website. Uh, Jolly, spends, Jolly and Steve are working 18 hours a day each, so it's it's good. That's like four people. Kenzerco.com. Well, we have others. No, I I was, I was joke. <laughs> yeah. But they're each like four people. Right. Yes, that's right. Exactly. 
Well, thank you folks so very much. And from this undisclosed location in <laughs> an undisclosed state, this has been the Weird Review. Thank you so much. Are people you. gonna know where to live? As in Weird.